Elvis Presley is in the building. Now, contrary to the popular phrase, Elvis has left the building, I just want to inform you, inform, get it, that he's in the building. <laughs> so Elvis Presley could not only sing, he could also act, and he had a fantastic acting career. He filmed over 33 movies, so I can assure you that I have seen almost all of his movies, minus a few. I've read all the books, listened to all the albums, and it does not take a lot for you to fall in love with him like I did, and all those other girls that were totally obsessed with him. <laughs> so his acting career pretty much spanned from the late 1950s to the 1970s, early 1970s, so 20 years, you know, more or less. And um, I'm also going to talk about his top grossing movies at the box office. So when exactly did his career start out? Well, in 1956, he signed a seven-year contract with Paramount, and Hal Wallace, who was just a movie producer, loaned him out to 20th Century Fox. And on November 2nd, I think, in 1956, Love Me Tender, the movie, his first movie, was released. So there was Love Me Tender is a song, obviously, by Elvis, and that was in the movie Love Me Tender. And he was okay with that song, but they also added a lot of other songs that he called silly, and he also called them garbage. He did not like it when they added in a bunch of pointless songs that didn't really even match the storyline. But the fans did not care. They loved the movie, and Love Me Tender actually ended up making $540,000 in its first week alone. Which, back, back then was a lot of money, but now it's whatever. <laughs> so, in the next 20 months, Elvis ended up filming Loving You, Jailhouse Rock, which is a great movie, and King Creole, which is one of my favorites. So, most people didn't know, actually, that Elvis was in the army, and he was inducted as a private, and he served in Germany during the war, but it didn't stop his music or acting career. He got a deferment so he could finish King Creole, and his agents had all of his pre-recorded hits, so when he was away in internationally for two years they played his hits you know so the fans still heard him and he was pretty much famous that whole time even though he wasn't even near the United States so he returned to the States on March 2nd 1960 and he was honorably discharged with the rank of a sergeant and his first film post-war was GI Blues <laughs> which is funny ironic because he was just in the army and uh, he filmed 27 movies throughout the 1960s so my favorite movie that he filmed was Viva Las Vegas, and actually this was his most successful film ever, and it generated more than $5 million in the opening weekend or whatever, opening week. And uh, yeah, that was his most successful movie. So in 1969, Change of Habit was filmed, and this was his last non-concert movie, which is sad. But eventually everything has to come to an end, including Elvis's Spin Through Hollywood successful spin through Hollywood. So he left Hollywood in 1969 to return to live performing because uh, a lot of the bands were coming out like Grateful Dead, The Doors, Janis Joplin, The Beatles, so popular and they were dominating the airwaves. So Elvis was like, I gotta get back out there and start recording so people don't forget about me. So he did. And he allowed the cameras to film him on his concerts, backstage, on stage, his life. And he ended up making two more documentaries, which was his last films. And uh, he won the Golden Globe Award in 1973 for Best Documentary. And there's a quote attributed to Elvis Presley in the documentary This Is Elvis, alleged that some of the films actually made him physically ill, which you can see because he hated all those songs. He did not want to do them. He really wanted to be a real actor. And no one took him seriously, you know, because he was a singer and he was good looking and that was it. That was the farther it went. So I know you guys want to know the top five grossing Elvis movies ever. So the first is Viva Las Vegas, which made $38.6 million, which is tons of money. Then Jailhouse Rock, Blue Hawaii, GI Blues, and in number five, Loving You. So let's review everything that we covered. So Elvis could not only sing, but he could act, and he had a fantastic acting career. He made 33 full-length feature films. His career started out super strong in the late 1950s and 60s, it's when he flourished, and it kind of dwindled down in the 1970s, and he returned to music. 
So all in all, his acting career was so successful and his fans supported him throughout the entirety of his acting career. He made 33 films and the list of the top grossing uh, top grossing movies in the US really shows his success, sorry. So I just wanna end with one thing that you guys are gonna love. His most famous quote, I think anyway. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>